Hey crew, good news, um, it's spray day, which is probably the, the most exciting day um, that I look forward to in any build of actually getting the color on the, the panels. So although this is a small bike, you can see there's a, a fair bit of work that goes into preparing all of those panels ready to go. So um, they've all been sanded this week just with a, a five to 600 grit um, dry foam backed sandpaper and um, Normally you'd, you'd probably do six to eight hundred on these, but um, I only had five to six hundred and that'll be fine. So um, there's a couple of little imperfections in a few of them, but for what this bike is, you know, we're not aiming for any show quality bike or anything like that. And they'll come up fine with paint on them. Um, you know, if you get right up close to the, the scooter, I'm sure you'll find some imperfections, but I'm not gonna to be too fussy about that. My main aim is we've got some good weather here today in Adelaide, so I just really wanna get the, the paint down. So just running past all the, the panels and then we'll go over and show you the, the mixing up of the paint and the color. If you haven't seen the review I put up the other day on what the color's actually gonna be, I'll show you that in a second too. So anyway, um, let's get over there. So see here we've got cracking day uh, spring day about 29s forecast for today and we're at about probably 20 ish now so um, really good conditions uh, really still um, it's good for outside painting so um, here we go here's the color so it's a 2k color um, matched as close as I could by eye to the uh, Tiffany blue. No metallics, anything like that, so no need for clear or anything today, which makes this a, an easier job. So it's literally laying down the, the colour and, and that's it. So, uh, see there, I've already, already mixed it up. Um, and all we do is we mix that, which you get two parts of that, and it's a two to one, so two parts of that, one part to hardener and then 10% thinners reducers. So uh, these mixing cups make life a lot easier if you literally scroll around to the side till you get to two to one. And all you do is follow along the side here. So the first column, you pick which one you want to go up to. So we'll go up to five on that side there today for paint, and then add up five hardener, then up to the 10 line for the thinners. So I'll get that underway now and I'll put down a a real light first coat on them and then I'll come back and, and record the, the next little bit as we put I'll probably do three coats on this bike maybe four all right cheers see you in a sec all right first coat's down um apologies if you can hear the grinder in the background I think the neighbor must be doing some work but um you can see um we've got reasonable coverage on the first coat it was a really really light coat probably half the half the coat you'd put on on a, a full coat and you can see there's little bits there where I haven't got coverage which is fine because that'll get picked up in the, the second and third coat and not a full gloss yet because um, of how light the coat is like along that edge there you can see it's almost see-through iridescent um, and hasn't got into all the little holes and things like that until we get a bit more thicker and more coats on but you don't want to go too thick on the the first coat because um, you risk it not sticking properly, getting runs, etc. So now we just wait for this to, to flash off, um, which I'll check in a second what the flash off time is, but probably not long, um, about 10, 15 minutes maybe at the most. So we'll let those sit and I'll move a couple of the panels around just so I can get better angles to, to get better coverage on them as well. And I did um, forget to mention before the the gun I'm using is my my water gun, which I always use for everything. I've got two different tips, fluid tips for it: a 1.8, which I use for primer, and then 1.3, which I use for color and clears. So put the 1.3 tip in it at the moment uh, while we do the color. And 10 or 15, we'll put down second coat. I'll probably just um, pick it up once I've got the second, third coats down and it's pretty much done and ready to go and we'll see where we ended up all right all right so we've got three coats down a couple of the panels got four coats just because i have a little bit left in the gun and there's no point chucking it out so i've um, got pretty good coverage on most of the, the panels and 
reasonably flat finish. There's a little bit of dust speck in that, as you'd expect for a outside job and a couple of little tiny hairs and things got in the, the paintwork. But again, for what the scooter is um, and what it was intended to be, um, it's gonna be shiny, glossy uh, from a half a foot back or half a step back. It will still look brand new. I um, did run into a couple of little small problems, which I'll show you, because I might as well point out the flaws too. Um, on this corner here, you can see it got a bit mottled. Um, the reason for that is I had my panel stands a bit too close together, and as I was working through them, that one corner of that got caught on my shirt and just dragged over it before it was dry. I uh, um, and got one couple of little runs just on the underside of this one that you can see there. Um, again, underside of the panel where no one's ever going to see it. Um, and uh, I'd say no complaints on that. Um, this is literally about now yeah, probably 15 minutes after I've painted them. You can see a bit of a reflection showing up on that. Once um, they dry a little bit more, I'll drag them out into the sun where I've got some better lighting so you can actually see the, the colour and how it looks. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. All right. Um, a few hours later now, um, after we finished all the painting, and we um, just put them out in the what was the sun, um, but it's just come back really overcast now, yeah, so there's not much sun left to actually show you. The, uh, I was hoping to pick up all the shine on the panels and show you that, but um, as you can see, it's a lot of cloud and not much sun to show you, but hopefully the, the camera will still pick up um, a nice gloss on it. Um, you can see it's got a ref bit of a reflection there of some of the garden and whatnot that you can make out. So uh, I think as I mentioned earlier, this one, I did get a couple of little runs in uh, just here along those sections, but, um, and just on that side too. Um, I'm not gonna worry about sanding them out because at the end of the day, um, that'll sit underneath and you won't see it anyway. So we'll just run you over each panel, point out whatever faults I can find in them. But again, you can see, again, nice gloss and direct off the gun there without polishing or anything. So pretty happy with the outcome. Uh, no runs in this one at all. Um, just having a look over it, can't see any real marks in it, so that one actually looks really good. Uh, this one here, um, again, no no marks in it. Um, didn't quite get fully down into that hole, so you can still see a little bit of prime, but no one will ever notice that. I won't notice it once I put a screw in there as well. Um, the front panel here. So, um, I probably didn't sand down the, the primer quite enough on that. And so there's a little bit of orange peel that was actually in the primer itself. Um, but again, this sits behind the wheel, um, or the wheel in front of us, so you're never gonna see it. A little bit of a, a bit of dust or hair got stuck in that one. A few little bugs um, that have just decided to land on it, but they're not actually stuck in the paint. So that one looks pretty good too. And this panel here, um, that's just a little bug, it just flew off, so no issues there, no runs on that. And again, it's got a good little bit of reflection. If I bother buffing it up, which I don't think I will on this, um, it would get a really nice deep shine. Here's the, the bit on the panel that accidentally got caught on my shirt, um, which you can see here, I've got a little bit of marking in there. Um, if I was really fast, I'd sand that down and get rid of it. But again, for what this bike is, no need to. And we got a, a little hair uh, from a dog, Rossi. Um, they got stuck in that. Um, no runs, anything. Uh, this one here, um, that came up pretty nice as well. Um, if I was being really, really picky, you can just see a little bit of the bodywork just around there. Um, showing through and i think a little bit of dust just got stuck in the paint there so these are all touched right now a little bit of dust just here as well so yeah again if i was really picky over it i'd be able to wet sand that out and buff it but 
uh, I'm not going to bother for what this bike is um, and what I wanted it to be then not fast also now just looking forward to getting the actual uh, panels on the on the bike um, and it'll totally totally change the it back into looking like a, a bike again so i'll let these panels sit for probably a week or so just to fully dry um they might even need a couple of weeks depending on the weather but probably in a week or so then i'll start reassembling of the bike so anyway um thanks again guys for tuning in if you've got any questions about how i paint my bikes um i'm not a professional painter by any means self-taught um but more than happy to tell you what works for me and what doesn't work for me, I've been doing painting since I was probably about 13, 14 years old on different cars and things and um, started off doing acrylic and it wasn't until recent years that that's definitely got outdated now um, and so I've had to kind of change my technique a fair bit to, to do two-pack paint and um, the biggest issue I have is sometimes putting it on a bit too wet because with acrylic you've got to go really wet to get a shine whereas 2k or 2 pack you don't have to go wet at all um, and it comes out um, and get much better coverage and a lot wetter off the gun so um, just different totally different technique to acrylic but um, hopefully as you can see it um, I think they turned out really well so looking forward to getting the bike back together so tune in next week see where we get up to and just a reminder um, give us a like give us a comment share subscribe um, keen to try and get the subscriber base up to 50 by the end of the week cheers